Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, on the 14th of March, which was just over five weeks ago, I've done an unboxing video of my mature male, M. Balfouri. My friend kindly sent me a message and asked me if I wanted to breed my female M. Balfouri. And I said, yeah, sure, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. So guys, I have been feeding up the female. I have fed her two superworms in the last three days and the male has been webbing up a lot i think he's done a sperm web so let's take the enclosure off the shelf and let's take a look so guys there is the mature male m balfour and you can see ma mature males and as colorful as the female and i do lose their coloration as they actually get older so yeah he's a fantastic boy and you can see he's been laying a lot of web on the floor and he's been webbing up the fake plant as well and moving his water dish. <laughs> Some spiders do that. So yeah, he doesn't really eat very much. I've probably fed him once in five weeks, but um, I'll try and give him a feed today. There's no harm in trying. But yeah, he's doing a lot of webbing up and he's uh, very, very active. I'm not too sure when he actually matured into a male. So I don't know if he's a young male or an old male. But uh, when the pairing video comes up, I will be getting my two 12 inch tongues and hopefully she doesn't uh, decide to eat him. But that's the risk you take, I'm afraid. So yeah, let's get a, a large super worm and let's see if he's hungry. Here goes everyone. Oh, there we go. He is definitely hungry. Oh, well, that's nice to see. I've tried feeding him a few times in the past and he hasn't really been interested. He's just mainly just walked away from his meal. But uh, yeah, that was a fantastic takedown to see. And he's having a good fight with his meal. The, uh, you can see the superworm... He's moving around on the floor. I think, yeah, he's grabbed the superworm at the back of the superworm, not by its head. That's why the head's moving around. Well, yeah, he's a beautiful boy. Like I said, very, very active. So it's nice to... Uh, See that he's got his appetite back and I will sort out that water dish just there. A bit difficult to um, show you the female because she's always in her burrow. But uh, she's a big girl. She's probably around about the four and a half to five inch leg span. So she's um, a little bit bigger than him. But when breeding tarantulas, guys, you always introduce the male into the female's enclosure. So uh, yeah. So hopefully next week, guys, I'll give the female another superworm, and I'll um, put him in the enclosure. So guys, as he's concentrating on his meal, let's just get that water dish, and I'll sort it out, give it a good clean, and fill it back up with water. So guys, he's uh, still fighting with his food and he was just doing the happy dance. I think there's loads of substrate on the actual worm and he's trying to get it off. But we'll leave him to do his happy dance. And while we're here, let's just quickly fill up the water dish. And then he can have a nice drink when he wants to. So guys, in other news. So ladies and gentlemen, the other news I wanted to show you. Yesterday, I was over this park here, doing some uh, filming for the Spider-Man's Outdoor Adventures Part 3. And I went all along this park here, and I found absolutely nothing. Not even one spider. I even, if I just zoom in a bit more, you can see the fields in the distance, just by that main road there. I went all along there as well. I must have been over here for a good two, two and a half hours 
and I found absolutely nothing. Not even one spider. I've seen a couple of wood pigeons, <laughs> a couple of squirrels and a couple of butterflies and that's about it. Not even one spider. So that footage that I filmed yesterday, there's no really point in uploading it because there's no spider attacks. And I took six red runner cockroaches with me and I came back with six red runner cockroaches. But now the weather's getting a little bit better, I will definitely record part three again. But uh, yeah, it was just um, one of those things, I'm afraid. It's only been warm since yesterday. So hopefully in the next month or so, some more spiders will come out and I can get some footage. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, everybody. And thanks for watching, everyone.